Hello there. Welcome to the Avenger. Many of the characters in Disney movies have become household names, but did you know there's often a whole lot more to those names than we might think? It turns out that the people behind some of Disney's most beloved movies have chosen highly meaningful names for their characters. Some of those meanings are obvious, while others subtly point to the characters' personalities or other traits about them. In this video, we'll fill you in on the meanings behind the names of 25 popular Disney characters. We'll even toss in a few extra for good measure. Number 1. Elsa In Frozen, Elsa must learn to let it go in order to figure out how to control her ice powers and be the queen that Arendelle needs, and her name has almost as interesting a history as she does. Elsa was originally derived from the name Elizabeth, which in Hebrew means God is my oath. Today though, the name stands on its own and is especially popular in Scandinavian countries. Plus, it's also taken to mean truth. And that's especially appropriate for Elsa, since she had to accept the truth of her powers to reconnect with her sister and rule her kingdom. Elsa's sister Anna also has an especially meaningful name. Anna means gracious and merciful. Two traits Anna exhibits in spades, especially considering that Elsa hurt her with her powers twice. Number 2. Mulan The title character of Mulan stepped up to help her family in a way that no one expected by taking her father's place in the army. In the process, she changed the hearts and minds of many of the people who knew her. The name Mulan translates to Wood Orchid. While on the surface that may not seem all that meaningful, consider what the Emperor said to Mulan in the movie. Flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. If you think of it that way, Mulan's flower-inspired name says a lot more about her. She is that flower that grows in adversity. Rare, but all the more beautiful for the struggles that she's been through. Number 3. Belle If you speak French, you already know the meaning behind the name of Beauty and the Beast's Belle. In fact, it's right there in the title of her movie. Also, one of the townsfolks provides the translation for her name in the movie's opening number. As Belle walks through the town with her nose stuck in a book, one woman sings, Now it's no wonder that her name so, there you go. Belle's name translates to beauty. And it's true, Belle's beautiful on the outside. Fortunately for the Beast, she's also beautiful on the inside. Number 4. Lumiere Belle isn't the only character from Beauty and the Beast with a name that becomes especially meaningful when it's translated from French. One example is a member of Beast's staff who was turned into a three-armed candelabra, Lumiere. Lumiere's name means light. Pretty appropriate for a golden candle holder whose head and arms are constantly firing up. Of course, Lumiere also manages to light up a room with his welcoming ways and desire to entertain, sometimes with a number as good as Be Our Guest. Number 5. LeFou The meaningful names of Beauty and the Beast characters extend to the bad guys too. Gaston's sidekick LeFou's name translates to The Fool, an appropriate if not particularly flattering meaning. Unfortunately, LeFou is constantly proving just why that's his name. Whether he's getting on Gaston's bad side for something that he said, or he's getting egg in his face, LeFou takes a lot of punishment. He never seems to notice what a jerk Gaston is to him either, or everyone else for that matter. Meanwhile, he stupidly goes along with Gaston's plans no matter how boneheaded or cruel. LeFou should have stopped hanging out with Gaston a long time ago. He lives up to his name though and sticks around like a fool. Number 6. Ariel Ariel from The Little Mermaid is strong-willed, curious, and desperate to be part of the human world. In Hebrew, her name translates to Lion of God, although it's quite possible the names developed an alternative meaning under the sea. Before there was Ariel the Mermaid, there was a mischievous spirit named Ariel in Shakespeare's play The Tempest. In the play, Ariel was bound to serve Prospero after Prospero rescued the spirit from a witch. This sounds just a little bit like Ursula claiming that she's rescuing Ariel from her father in The Little Mermaid. But these events aren't good for either Ariel. Number 7. Eric In The Little Mermaid, it may actually be Eric, the human prince that Ariel falls in love with, that has the more meaningful name. Eric translates to always rule, and the prince certainly was a ruler. And for all we know from the movie, he may have always ruled. 
presumably since he's a prince and not a king, his father is still alive and the true ruler of the kingdom. Yet the king doesn't factor into the story. At all. So that leads us to conclude that Eric was in charge of his kingdom. Number 8. Simba Sometimes the names of the characters in Disney's movies sound exotic and interesting when actually their meaning is pretty straightforward. That's the case behind some of the names in the movie The Lion King. Filmmakers gave almost all of the characters Swahili names. But when they're translated to English, some of them are pretty on the nose. Simba's name in particular. It sounds creative and interesting, but in Swahili it translates simply to lion. That's right, Simba's name acts as more of a label for the kind of animal that he is than anything else. Still, the name Simba has become so well known as a result of this movie that it's now taken on plenty of meaning beyond just lion. Number 9. Mufasa Mufasa is another character from The Lion King whose name has a rather obvious meaning. Mufasa translates to... King. And that's exactly what Mufasa is. King of the Pride Lands to be exact. Mufasa was born to a royal family, and as the firstborn son, it would be expected that he'd eventually ascend to the throne. So it seems like his parents decided to give him a name to reflect those expectations. I mean, no pressure or anything, right? Of course, Mufasa was a very noble king, so he more than lived up to his name. Number 10. Scar After giving their firstborn son such a regal name, it's hard not to wonder exactly what happened when it came time to name Scar. There's no mysterious meaning here. I mean, Scar is an English word, and we all have them, both psychologically and physically. When it comes to the Lion King's antagonist, though, his name brings up several questions. Was he born with the scar over his eye and named after it? Or did he get the scar later on and then Scar kind of became his nickname? If he went by a more noble name, would he have behaved more honorably towards his nephew and older brother? We may never get the answers to these questions, but it does show just how much can be behind even the most obvious names. Interestingly, in the straight-to-DVD sequel, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, a lion named Kovu becomes Scar's adoptive son and heir. And what does Kovu translate to? You guessed it, Scar. Number 11, Shenzi and Banzai. Scar's hyena sidekicks have names that once again can be translated from Swahili, or at least two of them do. The trio of Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed find pretty much everything hysterical, but that doesn't mean that they have good intentions. In fact, as Scar's henchmen, they're pretty dastardly. And Shenzi and Banzai's names reflect this. Shenzi means savage, while Banzai means skulk or lurk. Two great depictions of the hyena's personalities and actions. And given that Shenzi and Banzai are certainly the brains of the trio, it's no wonder that they have the more meaningful names. And honestly, we just have no idea what happened with Ed. Number 12, Timon and Pumbaa. Another animal team up from the Lion King whose names have secret meanings are Timon and Pumbaa, the meerkat and warthog combo that take in Simba. Timon is one of the few characters in the movie whose name doesn't come from the Swahili language. Instead, Timon is Greek and means respect. While respect certainly isn't something that defined Timon in any way, Perhaps the filmmakers chose the name as a nod to Shakespeare. I mean, after all, The Lion King was a loose adaptation of Shakespeare's Hamlet, and Shakespeare was also responsible for writing the play Timon of Athens. Timon's name could be the filmmaker's way of subtly acknowledging the connection. Pumbaa's name, on the other hand, is not only Swahili in origin, it also has a rather appropriate translation. Pumbaa means slow-witted, and while we adore Pumbaa for his sweet ways, he definitely doesn't have the sharpest mind. It's a good thing him and Timon are buddies. Number 13, Snow White. Yet another Disney movie that features a set of pretty straightforward names is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In fact, the Seven Dwarfs all have names that sum up their defining character trait. From happy to grumpy to bashful to dopey, with so many dwarves with on-the-nose names, it's easy to overlook that Snow White herself has a pretty obvious name too. Snow White's name is a reference to her skin, as her mother hoped for a daughter with skin as white as snow. Even if that wasn't exactly what she got, Snow White's mother still gave her daughter a name that reflected that desire. Number 14, Quasimodo. While Snow White's mother's intentions were good when she named her daughter, the same cannot be said for the Hunchback of Notre Dame's Quasimodo. Quasimodo was named by the evil Claude Frollo. Frollo was about to end Quasimodo's life when he was just a baby. That is, until he was interrupted by the Archdeacon of Notre Dame. The Archdeacon demanded that Frollo raise the child as his own as penance for dispatching his mother. Frollo begrudgingly agreed, 
but his contempt for the child was demonstrated in the name that he gave him. In the movie, it's explained this way. Means half form. Quasimodo. If only calling him Quasimodo was the end of Frollo's ill treatment. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and Quasimodo led an isolated and lonely life. Number 15, Bambi. While the movie Bambi shows us the titled deer's life from childhood into adulthood, Bambi's youthful adventures are what we all remember. So perhaps it makes sense that Bambi's name is a shortened form of the Italian word bambino, which means a little child. When Bambi's a fawn, he certainly comes across as a child, especially in the aftermath of the tragedy that takes his mother from him. Number 16, Aurora. In Sleeping Beauty, the Princess Aurora spends the majority of the movie going by the name Briar Rose. It's a way to hide her identity from the evil fairy Maleficent who cursed her when she was just a baby. Yet the princess' real name was actually carefully chosen by her parents. Aurora means dawn, and the movie explains why her parents felt that this name was perfect for their daughter. Number 17, Prince Philip. Aurora has a name that establishes her parents' deep love for her, but her prince, Philip's parents, apparently weren't quite as sentimental. Philip is a perfectly respectable name, of course, but its meaning definitely doesn't say anything about his parents' feelings towards him. Philip means a lover of horses, and it's possible that Philip's parents just really wanted him to bond with his horse. And if that was the case, then they certainly got their wish. In Sleeping Beauty, Philip and his horse clearly have a very special relationship. The pair spend a lot more time together than Philip does with Aurora. Philip even rides his noble steed into battle against Maleficent. Number 18, Lilo. The movie Lilo and Stitch, which is set in Hawaii, includes many nods to the island's culture. In Lilo, the quirky alien-loving little girl at the center of the film appropriately has a Hawaiian name. That name translates to generous one, and Lilo certainly exemplifies that. She's tolerant of Stitch in a way that few people would be. Plus, she does everything that she can to make him part of her family and teach him the ways of Ohana. Number 19, Hercules. Hercules, the title character of the movie of the same name, goes all the way back to Greek and Roman mythology. Hercules is half god and considered the apex of all things masculine. Yet his name pays homage to his father Zeus's wife, the goddess Hera. Hercules means in Hera's service, and while in the Disney movie Hera was Hercules' mother, in mythology that wasn't the case. In fact, Hera gave Hercules a hard time throughout his life because she knew that he was the child of Zeus and a human woman. So in Disney's version, Hercules' name glorifies his mother. However, in mythology, the name Hercules was meant to signify the man's ability to rise above the challenges Hera threw in his way. Number 20, Megara. Hercules' love interest Megara's name means pearl. In mythology, Megara is also the name of Hercules' first wife. However, the meaning behind the name seems especially apropos for the Disney character. I mean, after all, Megara comes across as hard and uncaring at first, right? But in the end, it becomes clear that she's willing to do whatever it takes to help those that she loves. That makes her just like a pearl, which is formed inside a shell and whose beauty is hidden until the shell is opened. Number 21, Moana. In Moana, the title character is called by the sea. And eventually, she takes a boat and sails the ocean and saves her people. That's why it's so appropriate that in Maori, Moana's name means ocean. Moana lives on an island where sailing is prohibited, yet she can't seem to shake the idea of taking a boat and going into the unknown. When she eventually does just that, she finds that she has a natural knack for navigating through the water. By naming their daughter Moana, it seems Moana's parents pretty much ensured that their daughter would have an affinity for the sea. Number 22, Cinderella. Both the character and the movie Cinderella have been with us for so long, her name has become a normal part of our vocabulary. As a result, we don't spend a lot of time thinking about the meaning behind the name. But it turns out that the meaning of Cinderella isn't all that hidden. Cinderella is a nickname made up by the girl's cruel stepmother and stepsisters after they force her to become their maid. Cinderella's real name is Ella. But attach the word cinder to the beginning of it and you get a name with a whole new meaning. Specifically, the name is meant to mock the girl for constantly being covered in ashes because of her unending chores. Number 23, Anastasia and Drizella. It turns out Cinderella's stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella, have meaningful names too. Drizella means spirited and cruel. Traits Drizella and her whole family exhibit in the original movie Cinderella. In contrast, Anastasia translates to reborn. And if you only know Anastasia from Cinderella, you probably think that this one is a bit of a head-scratcher. 
However, if you've seen the Cinderella sequel, Cinderella 2 Dream Come True, then you know that Anastasia actually redeems herself. She becomes a much nicer person in contrast to her mother and sister. So in the end, Anastasia is reborn in a way, just like her name would suggest. Number 24, Tiana. In The Princess and the Frog, Tiana starts out as an aspiring restaurant owner. It isn't until later that she falls in love with a prince and eventually becomes a princess. Yet her name foreshadows her character's arc. Tiana translates to princess, which means her name is reflected right in the movie's title even though we didn't realize it. Number 25, Iago. Last but not least is the paired Iago from Aladdin. Several of the names on this list make reference to Shakespeare's work, and Iago is the most obvious of the bunch. Iago is the villain in Shakespeare's tragedy, Othello. The Shakespearean character is a conniving pretender who destroys Othello with underhanded tactics. Since that's exactly what Jafar is hoping to do to the Sultan of Agrabah, it's appropriate that he gives this name to his winged confidant. Also, in Welsh, Iago translates to supplanter. Jafar's goal is to supplant the Sultan, so either way, Iago's name was well chosen by the royal vizier. Is there a Disney character whose name is especially meaningful to you? Did we leave a character name with a secret meaning out? Let us know in the comment section down below. And before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Binger for more fun and informative pop culture videos. Thanks for watching.